The first for you guys to be interviewed together like this? Yes, most definitely, first. Do you like it? Looks good on camera. So what do you guys, what, let me ask, instead of what did you think of your match, what did you think of your brother's match, each of you? I saw Nicky Rod get tired for the first time ever in my entire life. Um, yeah, I mean, very entertaining. I think Roberto has a super similar style to me. So I was uh, just trying to kill Nicky Rod every day leading up to this competition for, you know, his prep. Um, and I feel like I did a good job. But. Yep. J-Rod spent many hours trying to hurt me and embarrass me in practice. And... Um, Definitely paid off. You know, I was prepared for the fight. I had intentions of submitting my opponent fairly early, like in one or two minutes, as Craig Jones did. But unfortunately, I had a 15-minute war on my hands, and um, you know, I won. I won in overtime via points. But you know, I'm a black belt nowadays, and the time for me submitting opponents will be very soon. What did you think of your brother's match? Did you get to see it? I don't know if you even saw it. Yep, I definitely watched uh, J. Rod's match backstage, and he looked great. You know, he was able to um, use some tight and loose passing to fatigue his opponent. And then uh, once his opponent decided to stand with him, he was able to hit a duck on there straight to the back and finish via rear naked choke, similar to his, um, similar to his trials match. Was it semifinals in, in ADCC? Yeah, semifinals in ADCC trials. He hit a duck on there to the back and ran naked choke. And against a, a, uh, an IBJJF black belt world champion in the Gi, so that's a super impressive win. You're talking purple belt with maybe three years of training against a, a, a black belt world champ. That's like almost unheard of. What was the experience like doing this together? Do you think you'd want to do it again or was it too stressful or? Uh, I always stress out. I, I stress out watching Nicky Rod way more than I am nervous for my own competitions. So it's good that I'm stressed after my own competition. Like I'm, I compete, I'm off the mats and then I can worry about Nicky Rod. But how do you feel about that? Yeah, kind of the same. Like, um, I'm not allowed to be emotional when I'm competing for myself. So quite emotionless. But when he competes, I have to, like, especially if I'm competing on the same day as J-Rod, I have to just, like, look a little bit and then look away and, and just really control my emotions. Because, um, like, when uh, if he's competing and I'm, and I'm not, I can fully be, like, completely engaged and, and able to enjoy the moments. Like, when he wins, I feel like I, feel like I win because, you know, um, obviously we've done tons of training together. We grew up competing and uh, same same middle school, same high school and wrestling and stuff. And now we're professional athletes competing on the same team. And, and uh, uh, now we're keep competing on the same day. So it's uh, quite an amazing experience to share something like this with my brother. Did your mom drink a lot of milk when she was pregnant with the two of you? I got the breast milk and, uh, and J-Rod got the Similac. So I think that's why. <laughs> this is why I'm smaller than Nikki Rod. Mom did not. I'm blaming this on mom. Nikki Rod's bigger than me because I didn't get... Milk straight from the, the tit. This is the problem. He's, I'm 5'11", he's 6'3", 230. Bro, I'm, I'm trying out here. I hit a nerve, it looks like. This is a discussion you guys have had before. Yes. So if you could pick the next match for each other, who would you pick for, the, for your brother? Uh, for for J Rod, I pick um, Tanin Dolpra. I think that's a phenomenal phenomenal match. You know, he he just went out there and beat Taza at uh, at WNO. He's got great accolades, and it's a really tough matchup uh, stylistically for for Tynan. Uh I think for Nicky Rod, it would be good to see him fight uh, Marigali, uh, but it's tough. Like I feel Mar Marigali is like super touch and go. Like he's like saying stuff about how he wants to fight Craig first and all this. It's kind of confusing. He said he said Nicky Rod wasn't uh, like signing the contract or something. Have you heard anything about this? Yeah, I don't know what um <clears throat> I don't know what he was talking about, but indeed maybe a year ago um Flow Grappling sent me a contract to have a match against Marigali, which I signed and then he all of a sudden backed out. So I guess he's like kind of turning the tables, making an imaginary contract, saying that, I don't know. Guy likes to say a lot of words. I just want to compete. Uh, let's show up and get her done. That's all I got to say. So is that who you want next then? 
Um, yeah, I mean, my goal is to be number one pound for pound uh, in the world. So, you know, I have a list of guys. Um, Marigali's on the list. Uh, Hugo's on the list. Kanye Duarte. Um, Mason Fowler's on the list as well. So, you know, I want all the matches that will make me undeniably the best grappler in the world. Besides your brother, who had the best, and besides yourself, who had the best match tonight? Uh, I mean, uh, Cody's match, I don't know who he fought, but Cody Steele's match was, like, super scrappy. That was very entertaining. Uh, and then it's hard to look past Craig Jones just not having any sort of camp and submitting someone in under two minutes or, like, around two minutes. It's absurd. It's so frustrating. I do so many things right, and this guy just shows up and gets it done. But, yeah, Craig Jones, Cody Steele, very impressive performances. I pretty much agree. Uh, yeah, Cody had a great match. And again, just to reiterate, Craig Jones literally just travels the world for six months, agrees to have a match, shows up in Vegas, submits one of the, one of the best grapplers in his weight class um, in under two minutes. It is absurd. It shouldn't be happening. Um, and I'm quite jealous, but great job. B-team, B-team goes, goes undefeated here at UFC Fight Pass. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe to our B-team Jiu-Jitsu YouTube channel where we put out quality content and uh, buy our merch. And last question for me. When you two are rolling together, who wins the most, the most rounds? I, I think we mentioned this before, but I try to rip, my head off, or rip his head off uh, every time we train. Uh, and every time it's unsuccessful. Um, so, yeah, he wins most of the time. Honestly, I, watching Nicky Rod's match tonight was like pretty, seemed pretty similar to how uh, our rounds go in, in the training room. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's tough rolling with Jay just because we know each other's game plan. Like, like, it's hard to surprise somebody when you just have hours and hours of training uh, with each other. So you kind of anticipate, you kind of know each other's game plan. Uh, but yeah, it's always a tough round. And yeah, for when it comes to my match against Roberto, Jay Rod was the absolute best uh, training partner in preparation for that match because just he has nonstop move. They both have nonstop movement, con- continuously attacking, um, and. They go from good position to bad position to offensive mode uh, constantly. So, um, so yeah, it just really helped me prepare for that match. And uh, you know, it was a very hard fought win. Obviously, I, I won with like six six points to zero. But um, you know, I really wanted the submission. Unfortunately, I didn't get it. But um, next time, I'm going for the sub. Thank you. Hey, Nicky Rod. <clears throat> this one, uh, congratulations on, on on receiving your black belt. It's it's been it's been a few months since you received it. I just wanted your, you know, it's it's a big deal. I just wanted your, your thoughts on re- finally receiving it. Yeah, pretty great to receive a black belt in about five years of training jujitsu. Obviously, I was a I was a wrestler. You know, quite a different sport and quite a different lifestyle. But um, yeah, five years of jujitsu, and I'm officially a black belt under Craig Jones and Nikki Ryan. And uh, you know, it's a big big name to live up to. You know, I have a lot of uh, students back at home rooting for me, looking looking up to us. And uh, you know, I'm a black belt, but I still have tons to learn. I feel like just nowadays, I'm kind of um, kind of uh, starting to rebrand myself as not only a wrestler, but you know, somebody that can pull guard and get. You know, on top of opponents and pass not only with a body lock but like you saw me do some high stepping and some some circling to north south to pass guard today so really trying to implement different techniques and uh you know although i'm at the top of the spar i still have time to learn and um you know i'm just chipping away at that uh the technique aspect obviously i'm athletic and i'm um i'm pretty tenacious out there but uh technique is king and i'm doing my best to get as technical as possible so you're gonna change your nickname to the first degree black belt hunter (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. Uh, people are asking me, like, oh, are you still the black belt slayer or are you just the slayer? I don't know. It is what it is. If, you're, if I'm, a, I'm either the black belt slayer or the slayer, the natty king nowadays, some people call me um, Rodzilla, Rat Lightning. It is what it is, bro. Um, is ADCC still the plan? ADCC double gold, absolute weight class, and the heavyweight division gold medal as well that's the that's the goal and that's uh that's what i will acquire this summer congrats man thanks boss you guys just share the stage on the ufc fight pass invitational my question to you guys is is there something left on your guys's list that you want to share together maybe another card or what would that be both win the adcc medals would be nice um same year would be really cool what, what about you yeah like he said uh win, winning Winning simultaneous ADCC golds as uh, as brothers uh, in the same year, I don't think that's been done before. 
Um, we know the Vertolos, uh, one of the Vertolos won 80cc gold, and the other one, um, I believe, medaled or something like that. But uh, to have brothers both win gold in the same year, that would be absolutely outstanding. So that'd be awesome. Agreed. And just one for you, Nick Urod. What do you make of Roberto Jimenez as a competitor? It seems like you've shared some good amount of mat time with him. He just never gets out of your face. He never quits. So what do you make of him as a competitor? He's a very respectable athlete. You know, like, uh, obviously, I'm a bit bigger than him. Um, and, you know, he's been uh, doing the sport for quite quite a bit longer than I have. And and uh, he's just a very intelligent grappler. He's offensive. And the, the best part about him, like, obviously, he has a great gas tank, but he all, he uses the gas tank. You know what I mean? Like, like he got tired out there, but he didn't quit. And same thing with me. I got tired, but I didn't quit. And, and you know, it made for fireworks. It was a very offensive match in, in both directions. And uh, we got into some sticky situations, and, you know, we toughed it out. And it was quite tiring. And I'm just happy I got the ha my hand raised. I'm a bit disappointed I wasn't able to submit my opponent. Um, but nowadays, you know, I went from winning previously to winning tight matches to now I'm winning in dominant fashion by scoring a lot of points. And very soon I'll be conquering my opponents via submission. Congratulations, you guys. Thanks.